Hello there. Today we're going to be uh, putting together a garage workshop. I've got all my pieces in place. Uh, these were actually delivered on a pallet this past week. and My brother came over and installed them. And I'm going to get a, a better view here. We've got a long wall there. And that's the entry into the house. And there's no outlet inside this garage on that wall. And of course, every workshop area has to have an outlet. So before I hang the wall mounted garage cabinets, I want to put an outlet right about there. Where that mark is on the floor, that's a piece of tape. I marked it. It's about 129 inches from that doorway over to here. And these are the supplies I've got. I'm going to have a three gang wall box, a remodeling box uh, I'm going to cut in. It's going to have two outlets on it and one switch. And that switch is actually going to be activating this switch, which will be mounted right above it, so that I can plug in an overhead light uh, that will mount underneath the wall cabinets here. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to tap off of to get this electrical there. If you go right inside, on the opposite wall near our front entryway, this is where I'm going to get my power supply off of the back of this outlet. It's a single box outlet. So, and that leads back into the garage area here. Just to give you an idea before I get started. That's what we'll be doing here today. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back now. I have strung the wire up. I've cut two holes in the drywall after I used my stud finder. Make sure you use this before you start cutting any holes. And how this works is you've got a button on the side you press. And as soon as it detects a stud behind the drywall, it'll show the edge and then after you pass over it the light will go back out. So I knew there was a stud right about here and there's also a stud right alongside of this switch here. So I placed this one sideways like this instead of the up and down just to make it a little bit uh, different looking uh, and it'll be hidden up underneath the wall cabinets when they're mounted because this is remember it's going to be a switched outlet I'm going to place a switch down here alongside two other outlets and this switch is going to activate this one which will turn my under mount cabinet lighting on and off okay so we'll just take a step back here and look and see what we've done Next, I'll go ahead and wire in the outlets and switches. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back now. And just a review of what we've done. We've taken an outlet on the other side of this wall, uh, turned our breaker off, and I pulled the outlet out, specced out this side also for the, uh, about the same approximate point that the outlet was on the other wall, and it was down a little bit further from this point. And I expect this out to make sure we used our uh, stud finder here before I started cutting any, any boxes into this wall. And uh, there was a stud over here on this side and a stud over here. So I cut these out. Uh, I ran the wire from the other box on the other side of the wall up through the hole. We put a remodel uh, three gang outlet box in here. And then we ran another wire from here up to this one and uh, cut the hole there, put another remodel, one gang outlet box in here. And we've daisy chained constant power uh, from our outside, our, our other side outlet to this one, and then over to this one. And then we ran it to our switch, which operates this. And we're gonna turn our switch on. I've got a lamp plugged in here, and we've got power. So this is gonna be my under cabinet workshop light and I can just come out here and turn the light on like that 
Uh, as you can see, we plug this in down here. These are constant power, they're always on. One other thing you can use after you've done your electrical installing outlets is this uh, handy tester. You can pick these up for a few bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's and it tells you the different problems you may have depending on the lights that come on here. What you want for correct is for these two amber lights to come on and no red light. So we'll test this here. We've got correct. Wired correctly. And the final one, we'll turn the switch on. And this one's wired correctly also. So we've got our outlets in. I'm excited to go ahead and hang the wall cabinets up here for my garage uh, cabinetry and get this place organized. Thanks for watching up until now. Stay tuned.